Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to create a simple heart system or health system. Basically, we'll have these hearts that represents the health of the player. Then if we take damage, it is reduced by one and I'm invincible for three seconds. And after three seconds, we can take damage again. Also, we have the game over screen that shows up if we have zero hearts. So before we get started, make sure to watch my previous videos about this game. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. So in today's project, you will need two images. So I've downloaded these two sprites a pixel heart empty and a pixel heart full. We're gonna use these to display the health of the player. By default, he will have three hearts and each time he takes damage, we're gonna reduce the number of hearts by one. And to do that, first we need to import these images. I'm gonna put them under the sprites folder using right click, import a new asset and let's select it from the desktop. Then let's hit import. You could also drag and drop then we need to create a hearts container that contains all of the hearts under the canvas. I'm going to use an empty game object using right click, then create empty and let's call it hearts container. Then under this object, we're going to create few hearts using right click UI and let's use an image. I'm going to call it heart. Then let's change the source image to this one. Also, I want to change the size a bit, like 50 by 50. I think it's fine. Then I want to move the hearts container to the top center. Using shift alt, I'm going to select this option. Then I'm going to duplicate this heart few times, like three times using control D. After that, you need to change the position of each of these hearts. You could use the move tool, but we have a better option. By selecting the hearts container, we have a component that is called horizontal layout group. If you add it to the hearts container and it's going to group these elements and we can change some settings like the spacing, I'm going to increase it to two and the child alignment, I'm going to use the upper center. Now we're going to create a C sharp script that will handle the player health under the scripts folder then player, let's right click, create, C sharp script, I'm gonna call it health manager, then I'm gonna open it up in VS code, but if you're still using Visual Studio, don't worry, there is no big differences. Anyways, first we need to add a new variable, which represents the player health, or the number of hearts that the player has, using public, int, Let's call it health. By default, it's going to be three. Then we need to add a reference to the images that we have created so that we can update them depending on the player health. And to do that, first we need to go on top and use the namespace unityengine.ui. Then let's create an array of images using public. The type is image. And to declare this as an array, we need to add these square brackets then the name of the variable or the array let's call it hearts if you save the script and go back into unity first we need to attach our script to an empty game object or i will just use the player manager empty game object i will simply drag it under the inspector and it's going to be attached to the empty game object here we can change the health then we can reference the heart images we have three elements and let's reference them by dragging and dropping. Now we're going to update the sprites of these hearts accordingly to the health of the player. So let's go back to the C-sharp script. I'm not going to use the start method, so let's get rid of it. Then before we write the code of the update method, first we need to add a reference to the two sprites, the empty and the full heart. Let's use public. The type is sprite. 
let's call the first one full heart and add a reference to the empty heart using public sprite let's call it empty heart then each frame we're gonna use a for loop to change the hearts array basically we're gonna change the image to the empty heart then we're gonna add another for loop we're gonna go from i equals zero until i less than the health of the player and change the sprite to the full heart so let's use a for each loop also I have the option to automatically set it then I'm gonna change the type so for each image I'm gonna call it EMG in the hearts array that contains the images we're gonna use EMG or image then dot sprite equals the empty heart then we're gonna add another for loop using for and let's select this option for int i equals zero i less than the health of the player i plus plus and we're gonna access the image using hearts at the index i dot sprite equals the full heart and that's pretty much it now let's save it and check if it's working first we need to reference the two sprites under the sprites folder let's drag in the pixel heart full and the pixel heart empty then we can hit play and to test this script i will change the health from here for example let's set it to two as you can see we have one empty heart if it's one we have one heart and when the health of the player is zero we're gonna display the game over screen and to add this logic we need to open up the player collision script under this script we are checking if the player collides with the enemy in such case we are changing the game over to true so that we can display the game over screen but we need to change this a bit actually we need to check for the health first we want to apply damage to our player by reducing the health by one and to do that we need to access this health variable actually we can change its type to static and it's gonna be a global variable then we can use the name of the script which is health manager dot health minus minus after that we can check if the health of the player using health manager dot health equals zero or less or equal to zero in such case we're gonna change player manager dot is game over to true and display the game over screen and so on but if we still have more health using else we're gonna apply damage to our player and we're gonna make the player invincible for a few seconds and that's easy because we have a predefined method that is called ignore layer collision to ignore the collision between the player and the enemies to do that first we need to add a namespace which is system dot collections and let's go down here and create an i enumerator so if you don't know how to use it make sure to check out one of my videos i've talked about it in depth basically it allows you to wait for a few seconds this is the return type an i enumerator then we need to give it a name like uh, get hurt first we need to ignore the collision between the player and the enemies we have a predefined method and it is under the physics 2d dot ignore layer collision this takes two numbers which represents the layer of the player and the enemy first we need to assign a layer to the enemies and the player for example let's select our enemies like the mace then under layer let's add a new one i'm gonna call it enemy and we're gonna use the index which is eight also let's add another one for the player i'm gonna give it the index six let's call it player then from the inspector we need to select the enemies like mace and change its layer to the enemy layer the same thing for the saw and the zombie 
and we need to assign the player layer to our player which we have created under prefabs actually we have more than one player because we have a character selection system let's select the first one and change its layer to the player layer the same thing for the others then let's go back to our script this method takes the two index which is 6 and 8 and it will ignore the collision between the player and the enemies and that's what we want after that we can wait few seconds using yield return new wait for seconds this takes the number of seconds like 3 then we need to re-enable the collision again using the same method so I'm gonna copy it but this time we're gonna add another parameter which is a boolean if you set it to false it will enable the collision between the player and the enemies so by default it's true we are going to ignore the collision then we can re-enable it using the false parameter finally we need to call this get hurt i enumerator under this else statement using start coroutine which takes the name of the i enumerator get hurt let's save our script again and go back into unity and let's hit play by default we have three hearts and if we take damage as you can see we have one and I'm invincible for three seconds then we can take damage again but we have one problem if I replay the game we have zero hearts and that's because we have declared the player health as static so static variables persist between scenes and to fix this problem let's go back under the health manager script we're gonna initialize this variable under the awake function using void awake then we could simply use health equals 3 each time we replay the level and that's gonna fix the problem you could also improve the get hurt function by displaying a different animation or we can make the player blinking so let me show you how to do that select the player and let's open up the animation window using window animation then animation and let's create a new one using create a new clip I'm gonna put it under the animations folder player and let's call it get hurt then let's hit save basically I will change the alpha of the player first we need to hit record and let's change the opacity to 100 then change it to 255 again and that will save the first keyframe let's go to the keyframe 5 and change the opacity to 100 then at the keyframe 10 let's give it back to 255 and if you hit play you see we have this blinking animation so let's close this window then let's go back into unity and let's use our get hurt animation to do that we need to open up the animator window using window animation then animator and let's select the player again but we are not going to use it as a base layer basically we can apply it to all of the animations whenever we are running walking or jumping we can apply this animation as another layer first we need to add a new layer using this plus button and let's call it get hurt as well then we can drag in the animation then we have to select this icon and change the blending type from override to additive so that we can add this animation on top of the base layer then under our script we're gonna change this weight parameter to apply this layer to our player if you set it to 1 and hit play you see that our player is blinking even if we are moving or jumping and that's how we can apply this effect to our player so let's go back to the animator window and change the height to 0 by default under the get hurt i enumerator let's get the animator component using get component animator and we want to change the weight of the get hurt layer using a predefined method that is called set layer weight this takes the index of the layer the base layer has the index 0 and the get hurt layer has the index 1 and the second parameter is the weight 
which we need to set to 1 and set it to 0 again after we wait 3 seconds and that's pretty much it and there you go we have completed this health system now we can take damage and as you can see we have this blinking animation after that we can take damage again so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon that helps me a lot and I will see you in the next one